Welcome back to another Master Duel video. Today we're taking a look at Marincess, one of my favorite decks to play currently in the game. And it's actually really, really cheap when you look at the core of the deck, right? There are no ultra rares. There's only supers and below. So it's super cheap apart from Silent Mining, which is kind of your main search card. If you want to go into any other Marincess and you don't have it in your hand, then this is great. But if you just want the deck core, it's very, very cheap. And it's a very, very good, very, very heavy going first deck. But what it does is it makes a very, very big Link 4 turn 1 that can in the standby phase banish a card in your graveyard to draw one card so you can draw into hand traps. But also your opponent just doesn't read because this card becomes unaffected when you summon it with the effect of your Battle Ocean. And so you can have a one card combo from Marincess Blue Tang. You then get a pitch to the graveyard, your Seahorse. You then get a link into your Blue Slug. Blue Slug returns your Seahorse back to your hand. Special the Seahorse. Summon your Sea Angel. Sea Angel then searches out your field spell. Then you're going to link off into your Link 2 Crawl Amane. Then you're going to, if you have an extender, summon another one onto your field. If not, bring back one of your Link monsters. Then you can make a Link 3 or a Link 4. Or you can go into another Link 2 into your Crystal Heart. Then summon that with a field spell. Link off into one of your big monsters, either your Great Bubble Reef. Or if you can't make it that turn, you make a Marbled Rock. Get a card back to your hand and have a battle protection every single battle phase, right? So. The deck at the moment does kind of struggle because it's missing some very key cards. And what it's missing is most notably a way to search out their built-in negation trap, Marantz's Wave. They are getting a card that can search this in June, I think, in a TCG. So we'll probably see some Arsenal in like 2023, early 2023, if not later in the year. I'd hope that like I'd hope late 2022 is the latest, but I'm you know we don't know. But this card, Marantz's Wave, is so so good because one. By itself, it's a negate for a monster if there's a link monster on the field to Marincess, so that's really good. Two, if there's a link to Marincess, it makes all your monsters you control unaffected by card effects this turn. And three, if there's a link three or higher in your field, you can play it from your hand. So what you would do is turn one, you would summon this, sit on this, and then in your hand have a stealthy Marincess wave. For if they do try to remove your field spell that will make your monster unaffected, you then have a way to make your monster unaffected again, which is really, really good. Now, it is like Galaxy Eyes, a bit of a glass cannon, right? You are, you have got literally one or two combo lines, and that is it. If you are going to turn three, turn four, turn five, you can, if you've done turn one correctly, you can set yourself up to really easily just make a link two, make another Coral Anemone, and then bring back from the graveyard a Crystal Heart to make another rank four. And then that works out really, really nicely. There's a lot you can do in turn one that sets up your place for turn two, turn three, turn four. But also, this. This card is so good, right? Because you can send a water from your hand to the graveyard to special summon one of your banished waters. And what you can do is just banish one of your extra monsters, right? Banish your Coral Anemone. And then on your turn, you just bring it back out. <laughs> so there's so much with this deck. that is so fun to play. But it's very linear. It is a very, very linear deck. And you'll see it from the replays. We're not going to do a commentary because honestly, I've been here for two and a half, three hours now trying to get live duels and trying to do replays. And honestly, you get people scooping because they can't read the field spell, they go, oh my god, it's unaffected, they can't read, they scoop. And so when you do get a duel, it is so fun to play the grind game, especially against things like Tri Brigade or whatnot, because this can compete, but going first is your main, main win condition. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Enjoy the duels, there's a ton there, there's um, Tri Brigade, Dark Magician, Kaiju, there's a few in there, so uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but there's a lot of fun duels, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next Master video, see you then.
Thank you. 